Hello, my name is Chance Bingen, Principal Technical Marketing Engineer for Virtualization with ONTAP here at NetApp. I'm going to talk to you today about one of my favorite products, one I've been working with for a very long time, ONTAP Tools for VMware vSphere. Now, this is going to be the first in a series of videos where I dig deeper and deeper into ONTAP Tools, what makes it special, what makes it tick, and how powerful it is and all the things you can do with it. So first, let's go ahead and dig into what is ONTAP Tools? Is it just a vCenter plugin or is it something more? So ONTAP Tools really does help you lower your total cost of ownership, right? Lower TCO and reduce risk through automation and simplification of your workflows. To give you an example, and I will show you in just a minute, you can simply right click on a host cluster, launch a simple, easy to use wizard, and it'll provision a data store for you using whatever parameters you want on the array and it'll uh, automatically take care of all the configuration of the SAN for you. So you don't have to know how to be a storage admin. You just get to be a vCenter admin. Also, everything that ONTAP tools can do is available to be automated through simple to use REST APIs, right? So whether you're using VCF automation or uh, Ansible or you know simple PowerShell scripting with PowerCLI or something like that, you can automate all of this. And I actually call it automating the automation because you can perform multiple tasks across multiple API endpoints with a simple REST API call, just one simple REST API call. For example, it'll create all the storage objects you need to create the data store on the array and configure them. It'll even configure your hosts to talk to the array. It's that powerful. And you can do all that with one simple REST API call, or if you're working in the vCenter UI, through a simple and intuitive user interface. The second of three pillars that make ONTAP tools is the VASA provider. So this is what enables storage policy-based management and VMware virtual volumes, or VVOLs for short. If you want to use VVOLs with ONTAP, you have to use ONTAP tools. Now, we'll talk more about that in one of the future videos. VVOLs and VASA and storage policy-based management is an entire video unto itself, I promise you. Now, the third pillar is the storage replication adapter functionality. So this allows you to use VMware Site Recovery Manager, now known as Live Site Recovery. And you can use it integrated with NetApp's array native replication technology to allow you to do test failovers, uh, real failovers, um, reprotect where you actually mirror, reverse your mirrors from the disaster recovery site back to the production site. And it's all handled through the simple uh, user and interface of Site Recovery Manager or Live Site Recovery. Now let's dive into NetApp's lab on demand and take a look at how easy it is to use on tap tools. By the way, you as a NetApp customer have access to hands-on labs, including some of the ones that have on tap tools in them. If you'd like to check it out, definitely recommend doing that. So here we are in vCenter. All we're going to do now is provision a data store. So I'm going to simply right click on the data center. I can actually right click on lots of different entities right within this environment and ONTAP tools will give me context sensitive menus. So here I'm going to right click on the data center and I'm going to provision a data store for the entire data center. So in this case, I'm going to make a VMFS data store. We'll hit next. We'll call it VMFS LOD, and then we'll make the size uh, 128 gigabytes. It's pretty small. This is a nested lab, so uh, I'm not going to make it too huge. But ONTAP does, in fact, support the largest possible size of a VMFS data store of 64 terabytes. We'll hit next, 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 finish. All those options that I didn't select, I was just clicking next. The default options are the best practice options. So unless you want to do something kind of particular, you typically just ignore those. I'm just going to hit OK. Now in the background, it's configuring the iSCSI initiators on my ESXi hosts, logging them into the array, and then formatting the logical unit on the array with VMFS and creating a data store. It handles all of that for you with that simple and easy to use wizard. Now, once all that's done, it does have to rescan the HBA to make sure that that device appears on all the hosts. And once it does, it'll be able to finish the process. And there it is, VMFS LOD, the one I just created. Now it's currently pulling information about it and it'll populate some extra dashboards that we'll do a deeper dive on in a future video. I hope you liked that little introduction to one of my favorite products, ONTAP Tools. 
We'll be doing more videos. Be sure and like, share, and subscribe so you don't miss the future videos in this series, and I'll see you in the next one.